think I got tally on the target. There he is. Maybe. I got, I got VID on this guy. That looks like a MiG-21 Fox suit. Splash! Hey guys, welcome back to another DCS video. Today we are in the AV-8B night attack carrier doing a uh, tutorial on how to cold start the aircraft, at least how I cold start it. Before we start, you're going to need to go to the main menu of DCS and then head to the settings, go to special settings, then you're going to select AV-8B Harrier night attack, then INS default alignment, and hit pre-aligned. Now, once you have that selected, let's get into the actual aircraft. Okay, once you got that special setting done, what you're going to do in the Harrier is you're going to go right shift K to open up your kneeboard, and then you're going to change your laser code with left shift left alt. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. You got your laser code for your laser guided rockets and your laser guided bombs, any munition really on the on the bottom one. So I'm gonna change that to I'm 1784. Yeah, 1784. Close that. Alright, next. We're gonna go back here to our left. We're gonna hit Dex on. And then you're going to hit your fuel shut off lever. You're going to push that down. Oxy on. Well, you used to have to turn on these two pumps, but you don't have to anymore for some reason. They changed that with a, one of the more recent updates. Next, you want to go over to your battery. You're going to turn bat on. Engine start. And you'll start getting RPMs. So real quick, if you move your throttle in real life to the idle position before you turn on the engine, you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have a little bit of issues. So I'm gonna actually do the sh fuel shut off. I'm gonna shut the engine off real quick. Give you guys an example. Okay, so I'm gonna move the throttle forward a little bit. So it's an idle. I'm gonna turn on the engine again. and we are not getting RPMs. Now, if, it, if you have this situation, it's left control T to bring the throttle back to off. Once the uh, RPMs hit 57%, you'll hear a slight popping, and then you're gonna, in real life, push your throttle forward and your RPMs will start going up. Okay, next. I'm gonna turn on the external lights. EXT, LT, external lights. And then you have your C adjust. Here's your uh, light panel for formation, position, anti-collision, aux. Now I'm gonna turn on the RWR. Very important. <laughs> this knob is very important for your life in DCS. You're gonna turn on your countermeasures, and if you have a jamming pod, you're gonna put that on standby while you're starting up. All right, now you're gonna click at the bottom of the yoke or joystick, whatever one you prefer. It will hide the joystick and throttle. And because you set your special settings to pre-aligned, you're gonna be already aligned when you select nav or IFA. I like to put in nav, that's just me. Next, you're gonna hit the flare, turn that on, DMT on, PRBHT on. Now, we're gonna turn on our MFDs. All you need to do is just, uh, it's like in the F-18, just take the knob to off to on, or off to bright. And then, same thing with the UFC. And before I forget, you're gonna to go to DMT page, code, and this is how you change your laser code. Make sure you box code. And we're gonna put in the laser code, 1784, enter. Then we're gonna to go to our targeting pod, and it'll say either T pod INS on the top, 1784, 
And if it's on the screen for the targeting pod, hit standby, and then the uh, targeting pod will turn on. And if it's nighttime, you're gonna hit this. Uh, you're gonna hit this knob and put that to bright, and that'll illuminate all the buttons over here. On the, uh, it'll basically illuminate the UFC and stuff like that. Um, for instruments, for nighttime stuff, you're gonna go down here to your right instrument panel, right collision uh, console. That was a collision, and then flood. Obviously, flood are these lights right here. You can move these around, and these lights right here, and these over here. Not important right now, so I'm just gonna turn these off because it's daytime. Ejection seat here. This uh, little knob right here, this upper, the, the knob on top of a knob, you want to turn that on. That is your um, the growl of the heat seeker that turns on that or the sidearms. And uh, oh, flaps! Can't forget flaps. Make sure flaps are on and install for takeoff. Close canopy. Remove your Remove wheel, the chops. wheel chops. And then, very important thing. Copy. Very important thing. Wheel chocks are now removed. Turn on the HUD. HUD sim um, symbology, right there. Turn on the HUD. I really hope this video helped you guys out in learning the Harrier. The startup procedure is very simple, but it does take a little bit to learn. In my honest opinion, I think it's the most simple startup procedure in a cold start situation because of the special setting where you get it's pre-aligned so you don't have to really do anything you don't have to wait but anyways if you like the content hit that subscribe button share the video leave a comment leave a like and i appreciate all of you guys see you in the next one Coming in for a bombing run right now on the uh, enemy vehicle. Laser arm on. Pickle out. Bombs away, bombs away. We're taking fire. Flaring. Splash target, splash target.